Hey guys, it's me, it's Amy and Adventure, and today I'm in Edinburgh. I'm here with Abby. Hey. <laughs> so we've been in Europe for three months now, and for the past three months, we've spent the majority of our time at Labrie. Um, so this video is about that. Labrie was started in 1955 by a man named Francis Schaefer. Its first location was in Switzerland in a little town called Waymo, which is where we spent most of our time. But since then, it's expanded to all around the world. I think there are over 10 locations. I'm not positive. Labrie is French for shelter, and the organization functions as a place for people to participate in community while also seeking answers to difficult questions. The people who are in charge of the community or who make sure that it's all functioning and, you know, no one's dying, um, the workers of Labrie, and Francis Schaefer, who fun founded it, all base their idea that the answers to the questions you're seeking can be found in the truth and that the truth is based in the gospel. So this definitely sounds like a Christian cult. I don't think it is. <laughs> so days at Labrie are split up to give students the opportunity to participate in both of these aspects of life. So you have little three hour slots in the morning and afternoon where you'll either be studying whatever topic you're looking up. So like I studied Calvinism for a while or you'll be working. So cleaning or cooking or doing something to help around the house. This video is a little bit all over the place. So I'm gonna start by showing you guys um, a map of Labrie to kind of give you a better idea of the places I'm talking about and then a tour of the main house which is called Chalet Bellevue and then I'll give you guys a little bit of an idea of what my time looked like there um, and why I really enjoyed it for the most part most of the time sometimes I'm gonna start right now. So the first thing you notice about Labrie is the windy road that you have to go up on the bus um, and you get off the bus stop and there's just a sign that says Labrie on the side of the road with some stairs. So you get off the bus with your stuff, go up the stairs, and you'll get to the main uh, chalet, Chalet Bellevue. This is where all the students stay. And in the upper floor, some workers are living there um, just to make sure that the house runs okay and that nobody dies and that the students are safe. Off to the right um, of Bellevue is Chalet Malaise, which is where some workers are staying with their family. Um, and on the bottom floor is a place for more students to stay, but it's primarily the family's home. We have lunches there sometimes. Um, there's the freaky driveway and more road. Off to the right is Chalet Chazelet, which is another home for workers and their family. Um, and we also have lunches there and just hang out. Um, and then off to the left is Chalet Bordenet, which is another place for workers to live and for students to have formal lunches there. Um, yes, and then once you get down the hill, to the very bottom is Farrell House, which is where we study, um, where we have chapel, where we have some lectures. Um, yeah, just a lot of Libri intellectual life happens at Farrell House. And then some other things around is there's a little cabin or chalet where that's being turned into an art studio. There's a fire pit. Um, off to the left is Waymo and a place called Targets where you can drink alcohol. Cool. And off to the right is Volar, which is where we go to get Wi-Fi on our days off. So yeah, that's pretty much Libri in a nutshell. Moving on. <laughs> I'm going to show you Libri, specifically Bellevue, and give a brief tour. It might not be super explanatory, but hopefully it works. This is our room. This is Abigail's bed where Abigail's oh. currently lounging. This is my bed. We're both leaving today, or tomorrow, so we're starting to pack up our stuff in these huge backpacks. This is Katie's bed, she's our roommate. And this is our other roommate, Shirley's bed. And she left this morning, so she's not here anymore. This room is called the Crazy Eights, and we were all pretty close friends, so now that we're leaving, it's really sad. This is outside, this is the front door. My feet are wet, that's why I'm standing. Opens door, ow. <laughs> Main door. Abby, you're doing a great job. Will! You can say anything about Labrie. Labrie is, is the best. The best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the front door. And when you first walk in and go to the right, here's the basement. Or the dungeon. It's really cold down here and not very pleasant. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> this basement. 
There are rooms down here and a really crappy bathroom, so there's not much to see. Straight over there is computer room. There's John. Hello. This is like the front foyer room. This is where we pick up mail. There's a schedule so that you can see what your work crew is during the day. So today I made breakfast burritos and it was great. This is the Rembrandt room and it leads into the dining room. The Rembrandt room is where they keep all their art books and the dining room is where we eat food. This is a hallway. This is the kitchen. Everyone say hi! Hi! <laughs> They're making, finishing breakfast burritos. This is Abby again. This is the student fridge and the tea center. This is a lounge where everybody hangs out and does different stuff and there's musical instruments and a sink for people to use. It's pretty chill. This is where you can go outside and you can play ping pong if you want. Me, 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 me. These are the stairs that lead upstairs and this is where we keep our shoes. Those are my boots. This is the hallway where everyone's rooms are. This is one of the bathrooms. It's terrifying. I'm not gonna open it. This is another bathroom that only has a bathtub and a sink. This is James. How are you? <laughs> More hallway. Here's the only good bathroom in the entire building. Every other bathroom is terrifying. This is a shower room that's closed, so someone might be in there. This is the quote board where we keep all the memories of all the innuendos that have been said over the course of the term. <laughs> so that's pretty much Bellevue. Um, it has like five floors and all, but the top two floors belong to workers who work here, so we don't go up there very often. So all we basically interact with is the basement, which I showed you, uh, the ground floor, and this floor, basically in our room. <laughs> it's Morgan, and she Hi, caught me everybody. feeling myself. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, but I like it. Katie, I don't want to go to breakfast. I, I have to say, I was lying in bed thinking exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. 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 It's Friday the 26th at Swiss Le Brie, and today this morning we had breakfast, but I skipped it because I decided to sleep instead. We have a lecture at 9 in a lounge and other stuff. I would take the whole joy of giving away. Oh, um, so I didn't put a title on today's lecture, but it's, it's primarily this video we're going to watch by N.T. Wright. So after the lecture, I have study time, which means normally I'd go down to Farrell House and read a book or listen to a lecture on a particular topic I'm studying, but I didn't feel like doing that today, so I took a walk. After my study time today, I have a formal lunch, which is lunch at one of the workers' houses where somebody asks a question and then you try to answer it. What happened to Jesus' body when he ascended to heaven? I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing, Abby? I'm recovering from a formal lunch. <laughs> How would you describe formal lunches? Do I have to be positive? No. Okay. It's everyone saying so many things that don't apply to the question whatsoever. And then all of a sudden you're talking about whether or not Jesus had a body <laughs> and you don't know how you got there. <laughs> What's your chore for the day? <laughs> Ground. Mine is so, making mashed potatoes. I don't know which is worse because I might, I might be shoveling chicken shit. And then mashes it potatoes. Holly, <laughs> what's the best thing about Libri? Love and friendship. How do you find kindred spirits? <laughs> the non-working bathrooms, yeah. And the gift of grace that is received every day. And the scones. I think the people are the best thing about Libri. Yeah, I'm really good at ping pong now. <laughs> so probably the ping pong. What's the worst thing about Libri? Uh, smug jackasses when it comes to ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing about Libri? 
the um, constant toilet clogging issues. <laughs> What's the worst thing about Libri? Mm, Daniel. <gasps> yep. No. <laughs> Being at Chazelet during breakfast burrito day. <laughs> Sometimes the isolation that you can feel here because it's like just us yeah. and we don't really get to see much of the world. And, um, sometimes I just want a chill back day to where I can process everything that was talked about like that day and the day before and the day before that. Can people leave? Welcome friendship leaving. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Guilty. about Libri for me was leaving the people and having to say goodbye. Um, yeah, life is messy and you leave people and it's sad. My favorite thing about Libri was the people there. The people made the experience for me. Abby. It's time for your close-up. What was the best thing about Libri? Definitely the people. I can't even help everyone was really fun. And it's even better if you like your roommates. So that was nice. <laughs> In general, you're always really busy. So there's never, like, it feels like you're learning so many things and then you want to study something in your study time, but by the time you get there, you're like, so many things to process, man. Also, our last formal lunch there was the worst. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a better idea of Libri. I would recommend that you go there if you feel like you could handle it. If you don't like carbs, don't go. If you don't like carbs, don't go to Libri, because that's all you'll eat. If you guys want to find out more about Libri, I'll leave links to their website in the description box below so you can check it out. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about your salvation. <laughs> <laughs>